snacks are packed. Now we just need to get to the beach. I've got Luna's food, I've got my food. We're all ready to go. I think it was fishy. I was hoping today was going to be a bit more overcast, but it looks like a beautiful day. So let's go have a lucky day on the beach, see if we can find something. Alright, we are just going to take a one or two throws here in the, the old mouth of Gam for a mullet. It's always nice to sort of get to the beach knowing you've got. I don't think we're going to struggle in the surf today. I think there should be a lot after this wind we've had. Uh, but just in case, the last time was a proper struggle. We only managed to get mullets when we walked up all the way into the river. Um, so yeah, just to have a quick look, just so that we know we've, we've tried. And then we'll shoot down to the beach. I didn't bring a lot of baits. The plan is to just fish live bait. But I've got an Aki leg and a bit of old chocker and actually a bonito head which I might might throw for a shot but Luna hey don't, don't see much sign of life here not gonna waste too much time like I said I think we should be fine to get mullets in the sea today so just want to get going we're already quite late We just got to, to GAM, um, we were very late. Fortunately, I can only start fishing a bit later on in the mornings at the moment. Um, but yeah, I think it's, it's going to be a good day. We heard one or two waves that sounded a bit big, but we got low tide at about 10 o'clock. Um, so about an hour's time, hour and a half. So I know the formation is very good here for the low tide and very good for the full high, almost no matter what size the sea is. There's just going to be that awkward gap of it's not enough water in the holes and it's a bit difficult maybe to wait to get a bait over the lip. But the goal is to get mullet. When we get mullet, we'll take a look and decide what we're going to fish for. I think there's a few sharks around, there's some carb, there's some leery, so yeah, maybe a bit of a mixed bag. But I think we just need to get that first rod in the water as soon as possible. We're on the beach, the sea is looking nice. Um, I definitely see a few potential spots for some leery on the bucktail again if they're around. Um, looks like quite an easy lip. Um, it is dumping at the back but not, not consistently. There's gaps in between so I'm happy about that. So I think first things first we need mullets so I think we'll take a little walk up, just look for some mullets and then probably come back and fish along here. We've still got an hour until full low so there's, there's still some time. Oh, looks very nice. What a beautiful day and excited to be here. If you have a look at this, this is one of those containers must have fallen off a ship or something. Massive, it's solid. Absolutely solid. It's crazy that it washes up here. And I mean the last week we were here it wasn't yeah, this is right by the pathway as you come on. And you can see it's got a lot of crustaceans and little mussels and things there. That so gives the indication that it was at sea for a while. Interesting and crazy how powerful the sea can be. Wash up a thing like this. I think I see mullets. I think so. I think so. That's nice high tide spots up here. Let's see. We didn't walk too far down. Hopefully, we can just get mullets and we can head back up that way. The sea looks much nicer there for the low tide. This looks amazing for when the tide pushes. So. Hopefully the mullets are easy, not too deep, I don't feel like swimming. <laughs> oh, a real struggle to try and get mullets here. With the dropping tide and the spring low, the amount of water and current that's washing on the banks. It's quite exhausting. But the mullets are moving so fast in their currents, you just can't get them. But I think we're just going to go up, say hi to some friends, and then go find a spot to just throw. I've got two mullets. I'll try that other spot again on our way back, hopefully, we can get a few from there. 
I'm sure it'll be a bit easier once the tide turns, but I want to start fishing. We came all the way to the mouth just to say hi to Karat and then. They've got one or two fishes already, but they said it's fine. Yeah, we're going to walk back to that first lift, so a bit of an unnecessary two and a half k walk to do some others. I just want to get a line in the water before the tide pushes and before the wind picks up. So, the guy <laughs> down there throwing paddle tail in the mouth hooked a big blue ray. So, he thought he was on with the cob of his life for a while. So, you hook that thing in the wing, I think it kicks you, think you've got head shakes, you think you're on with an amazing fish. And then, it's a blue ray, that's happened to me before, so I feel for him. But yeah, let's get a line in the water. It's like, I'm right. That is more than enough. Well, nicely. Right. See where you are, 300 meters from that big container that we started at, right at the, at the entry. Nice look, it'll be very easy to get a bait over. I picked this spot because there's a bit of the yellow foam still hanging around. I sort of cleaned up along the other spots, but yeah, it's still, it's still hanging and there's a bit of a working bank at the back. So I'm going to throw a mullet, slide a mullet, and then fish a bit of bucktail so there's no leery. They did have a leery bite down there, so. Hopefully we can find some, even a small one, just a bit of fun on the, on the lure. But yeah, let's get a bait in the water, I'm excited. Okay, I'm about ready to cast the trace I'm using. It's a limited slide. You see like that. Of about 40 centimeters and I've got a very short hook, hook trace today. I'm fishing with an 8.0 Kobu XT. And I've just figure eighted it. There, that's why it looks a bit fun. So pretty straightforward, simple. It's basically the trace I use for everything. For live baits, for throwing chocker, pretty much anything. Any animals. So yeah, let's get a mullet in. Really exciting. Cable tie through. And I've got this little guy. on the bank to go cast now. In that dump it's just mullets. There's millions of them. The wave just goes black because it's just packed with mullets. Sometimes I'm not a huge fan of that because I feel like there's too many options for the leery or the cod. But yeah, well, let's see. Hopefully there's a bite. It looks really nice. So I'm gonna, as I mentioned I'm going to slide one. So what I've got is a, a spare spool for my, for my GOSA, which is really handy. So on the one I've got 40 pound bread, and the other I have mono. So if I want to slide, I can, which is what we're going to do now. A little bit of uncertainty when it's a bright day, no clouds in the sky. It's a beautiful day on the beach, but the water's clean, the sun's out, not always the best fishing. Hopefully there's a leery. I feel like that's going to be the main target today. Um, but these should start picking up soon and then when the tide pushes, hopefully we can find a nice spot for a cover as well.
a nice little area. Roughly 70 centimeters fork. Very strong, yeah. It's beautiful. I miss it so much. Let's quickly chase in the big one. You see, it's catch a lot this size. Let's see how thick that egg is. Whew, let's get this one back. Too much in the way it comes, it's just a little bit too much, 
too much pressure and sometimes that can pull your signal. Okay, just keep the tension and keep going. Take your time with it. You'd rather want to know that it made it all the way to the bottom. I'm gonna throw an Oki leg here. I want to try and keep it as simple and natural as possible. No dangle, minimal cotton. So I'm just going to take my hook, thread it through the middle. Excuse me, but it's very slimy, so I put sand in my hands. I'm just going to thread it as far as I can, as far as it will allow. Nice and tough. There we go, it should be good. If you're going to fish an Aki leg, you see it's quite long, you can't wrap your cotton without getting caught on the leg. You just fold it over your hook like that. And then it's easier to cotton. Let's see. I'm just going to cotton above the eye a lot so it doesn't come off. And right there. And yeah, you can just pull that off. So see if you're trying to cotton, you're gonna keep like catching on the, the leg. You can't actually do it. That's like wide. Yeah. Very, very simple, lots of movement. Hook's big enough and proud enough. Let's see if that does anything for us today. the end of our little session here at GAN. Bit of a frustrating one actually, definitely thought there'd be a lot more bites. Just those two small leeries and then the two bite-offs. Um, I was very hesitant whether to throw steel or not. I felt like there would have been a shark, but you know, definitely not, not really ready for the sharks just yet. Um, I heard some fish came out closer to the mouth. Those spots were there seem to catch quite a few. Um, but we found some nice water, maybe just working a little bit too hard to wash, so that's why there was it was a bit more quiet. So yeah, it was still lucky day on the beach. Still really enjoyed it. I think we'll be back tomorrow the next day again. The sea is looking nice for the next few days. So we'll keep coming back and keep trying. I think we'll probably start switching over to those bronzies. I think there's a few around now. So I think that's going to be the, the plan. These small areas are fun, but we don't have enough of them. <laughs> Let's try and get something proper next time.